you bring a little country with that dress. I like it. <laughs> I like, have y'all met before? No. No. Lovely to meet you. No, great to meet you. I liked your show. Thank you. Yeah. I like your shirts yeah. too. <laughs> Thanks. I think a few watch a few, Lisa. Like um, so, <laughs> yeah. so do your do your kids express interest in learning about you know the Orthodox Jews? Do they do they express any? Well, they all lived in that community with me. Yeah. Right. My daughter was already married when I left, so they know so enough. They talk They've about there, it at all that. though, like the switch. Um, you know, to them. I guess why I'm saying that is yeah. like even with like divorce with my family, like my kids, yeah. I, feel, I feel like we've talked about it enough and then it'll just come back up again. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, we're revisiting it. Um, well, so yeah. I think they're just very grateful for the life we have now yeah. and that they get to make their own choices and yeah. that their biology doesn't define their destiny. So yeah. I think they, they know the beauty of the world we came from, but they also understand why we left. Yeah, well, that's important. Um, what what impresses your kids the most? Like you taking risks in your life or you knowing Kendall Jenner? <laughs> what is the big thing? Well, I think it's that, you know, I left a world, you know, I always say I'm a time traveler. I left the 1800s uh, and I came to a, uh, because I mean, that's kind of the world I lived in, yeah. right? Women got married, they had babies when they were 19. They're supposed to be, you know, obedient to their husbands. It yeah. was a very different kind of world. And then I came into this world without a college education, without knowing anything, and then I started a shoe brand. So I think for them, it's that time travel journey. The fact that I, at 42 years old, picked myself up and started an entire new life. So cool. That, you know, I think that's the thing that they appreciate the most. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was a joke, the Kindle thing. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of, the reason why I brought it up is because this is a shot of the gown that you made um, her for the Met Gala. So I want to show, this is a few years ago. Wow. Like, Oh, I mean, first of all, were we supposed to look like that? Like, I don't understand what's happening there. But like, I mean, that is beautiful. And how is that held together? Oh my God. I feel like it's oh delicate. No, you have no idea. Literally, I had total nightmares because I wanted to make a dress that had no fabric. It's just thread oh. and 85,000 crystals. Wow. What? And the problem, though, I love was... that you wanted to make a dress <laughs> with no fabric. I just have to stop there for a minute. That was your idea. I had a dream, and wow. <laughs> no fabric needed. Because, you know, it's about thinking out of the box. And I love it. It's beautiful. Thing. So my only fear is you see how, like, it on the bottom there, it kind of falls on mm -hmm. the ground? I was petrified. Oh, someone would step on it. Yes. That's happened to me. I mean, imagine, because if you step on somebody's dress... And it rips. And, and it rips. Mm -hmm. If someone stepped on her dress, oh, no. 85,000 crystals would come crashing down and she would be in the buff. Yeah, <laughs> just as Eve was. And so that okay. was my literal panic. I wanted to have like security guards around her so that no one would be able to go anywhere near the dress. And people course. always step on your dress, or maybe yeah, it's just people, me. I no, feel like people I always do. Yeah, yeah they, do. they do. I know, that anytime I see a train, I'm like, I'm screwed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's good they're gonna see and what happens. And I happen. was at Julia, the Met Gala. have been T-length? Oh, I, <laughs> I always make life difficult for myself. Yeah. This is it's, what I do. It was I don't so beautiful, though. Thank I love you. that you thought outside the Thank box. You. I think that Thank was really you. cool. It was really um, fun. So the new book, so this is called Brazen. Oh, my gosh. I know, it's very fancy. Wow. I um, so it. it's an autobiography. So it's called Brazen. So why did you want to write this? Why did you feel like it was important? Well, you know, I've been through quite an unusual journey. And even through the TV show, people would say to me, because I watched your show, I left a bad marriage. Mm. I started my business. I had two people tell me they, they had been planning to commit suicide. Oh, wow. And after they saw the show, they didn't. So to me, the book, because the show is about my current life informed by my past. The book tells my whole crazy journey, mm -hmm. and it's a mess. And I'm very honest because I made a lot of mistakes because I, I didn't we know all anything. Have. Yeah. You know, but I want people to know that the mistakes are part of the journey too. Mm -hmm. And that they shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes. They shouldn't be afraid to try new things. So I'm hoping that this book inspires people, gives people the courage to Helps people, yeah. Yeah. Gives people the courage to get up and demand what they want from life and not be held down by people or others telling you that you cannot or mm. society, whatever it is that's holding you back. I'm, I really, I pray that people read this book and say, hey, if this crazy lady can do it, <laughs> so can I. <laughs> I, I feel like you would be hard pressed to find anyone in life that doesn't have a messy path. We all have yeah. like messes, yeah. like, you know? Of course. Yeah. It's and a, I was so It's cool if you wallow in it or you pick it up and keep going.